Hey you guys, so I'm back at the game with part four of the Oracle Misses of the Day. And I just really wanted to come on here and I just wanted to read a little bit more because I love these Oracle decks. I especially love the Orf Oracle Orf Warrior Oracle deck. Oh my god, this is just a beautiful deck. I don't know. But this says, you are lovingly pushed to admit to your authentic and most passionate soul so yearning, becoming bold with honesty. What means so much that you are willing to give up all that you have held on to out of fear so that it may be? What matters enough to you that you would be symbolically die and be reborn with all the endings in uncertainty such growth entails so that your dreams can become real? Don't turn away from your yearning out of fear, practicality, or any other excuse to replace faith with doubt. Acknowledging your truth will bring you peace even if you admit it also means facing the personal transformation required to bring that truth to life in your world when it is true it is healing embrace it when it is true it is healing embrace it when it is true it is healing embrace it <laughs> it's like even this question of what means so much that you are willing to give up all that you held on to out of fear so that it may be a lot of the times we're stuck in old characters of ourselves because we are fearful of the next journey that we have to go on. We are fearful of having to actually be independent and actually having to stand on what we say. We are fearful of actually having the control over our life and we're fearful of actually understanding that we have no control at all. We are fearful of actually being in power because we have been indoctrinated to believe that we are weak and we're not i don't know why i keep using that word <laughs> i promise y'all that was weird <laughs> but um it's just it's just crazy and a lot of the times we we put so much faith in doubt and fear that we don't put enough faith in our passions because we barely believe for ourselves that our passion is going to take us anywhere. And that's the problem. That fear didn't come from us. That fear came from the people around us who didn't believe in us. And we have allowed them to trick our mind into thinking that we are nothing and our dreams and our aspirations are nothing. You go after it. The more that you go after it, the more that you're telling your fear to fuck off. <laughs> Like, be for real with yourself. The more that you create and you look back at your creations, you realize, what am I fearing? What am I fearing? I create so many beautiful things and I'm sitting up here fearing for what? And a lot of the times we're not classifying and identifying where this fear is coming from. So that's why we keep fearing and we keep allowing those thoughts to just linger and keep going. Because we're not classifying, identifying, and transmuting it into something beautiful and better for ourselves.